All right, hey, it's Eric with Shuckabuck.com. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about using the Audience Insights tool and the Suggestions tool to find different audiences to target when you're testing your print-on-demand products. Now, before I get into that, I'm gonna let you know that the Print-on-Demand Academy is closing um, Friday, August 10th. So this is actually the last week you'll be able to get in. I'm not gonna be opening, the, opening this up again until 2019 so it's august so it's going to be a minimum of four months i'm going to be uh focusing on updating a lot of content or not updating but um adding a lot of case studies to the academy um for the rest of the year i'm going to be focusing on helping the members create more sales and scaling their business i'm also going to be working on my own e-commerce stores a lot more um, because i've been slacking a little bit um, so I'm just going to close the doors for the rest of the year at least. So this is the last time you're going to be able to get in, especially at this price. It's not going to be 269 when I open it up. So if you are interested in that, um, I'll talk a little bit more at the end of this video about it. Otherwise, there's a link below this video or somewhere on this page um, that you can uh, learn more about it. You can get to this page and go through um, and see what it's all about. But um, let's go back to the Audience Insights tool. Basically, what you want to do, um, let's say you're in the baking niche and you want to find um, interest to target. So what I did was I actually I actually typed in baking, all right, and I just put, come on, so I just put baking in there and I took out that, okay. So now we just have baking and I clicked on the page likes section if you don't know or where this is. But I looked at Crock-Pot Slow Cooker. So all you're gonna do is look at each one of these pages and make sure that it's directly related to the niche that you're in. So obviously Dollar Tree is probably not the best thing to target. Um, although if it's in this list, Facebook's algorithm thinks it's similar, all right? So you could test it, you could test Dollar Tree, um, but I wouldn't. Um, I would test things, especially starting out, that are a little more uh, baking related. So I opened up some tabs here. So this is everyday um, everyday dishes. This is a cooking thing. I opened up this one. This is all about cooking also. So that's a good pay. Oops, I closed one of them. Uh, Crock and Moms. This is a this is a really good page to target. There's a lot of engagement with it. Um, Crockpot Ladies again, a very good one. Have the, has a lot of likes um, and all that kind of stuff. So those are the page those i mean that's the simplest way to find interests all right you don't have to worry about all these numbers too much um, but what you want to do is just look at baking and um, see what comes up now if you want to go deeper all you got to do is uh, type in crock pot slow cooker and see if it if it's something you can target so crock pot slow cooker is right here and we'll take out baking and we have a whole another big list to go from all right some of these are good some of these are not good all right to target you have to look at these individually all right so let's if I type in crock pot again um, I have crock pot girl and crock pot girls and crock pot ladies so I could go even deeper so let's take out crock pot slow cooker and put in crock pot girl and right here make a head meals for busy moms i got crock pot ladies crock pot moms crock and girls crock pot slow cooker skinny slow cooker these are all good things to target to people who like to bake so if you're in the baking niche i would target a lot of these pages now at first you want to only only target five or so um, if you have a little more money to spend i would definitely do more um, and then just watch them every day watch your ads see what you're spending see how many people are going to the page what your cost per view of the pages you know if it's anywhere between it's if it's anywhere over a dollar fifty or so um, I would turn them off if you're not getting sales I would turn them off um, but if you're getting sales then you know keep them going and hopefully you can get to your 50 sales mark so you can start scaling um, but let me look at, I'm going to show you the other way to actually target, all right? So if you, we are in the, the audience section and I typed in Crock-Pot Slow Cooker, I can click the suggestions and it tells me all these different um, 
interests that I can target. So I can click on Crock-Pot Ladies, and then I'm gonna t take off Crock-Pot Slow Cookers, and here's another um, list of, of interests that I can target. So there's literally, there's almost unlimited number of interests that you can target on Facebook, okay? So that's the basic way that I do targeting, and I put one interest in each of my ad sets for every um, for every test that I that I do, every design that I do. All right. So if you want to learn how to do this and how to sell consistently uh, using print on demand, I highly suggest joining the academy again before August tenth of 2018 because it's going to be closing if you don't have 269 dollars there's a payment plan um, three three payments of 99 dollars um, i will leave a link somewhere on this page and you can go and look exactly you know what's at what's included um, basically it's everything from start to finish step by step um, and then there's case studies there's uh, bonus training of using instagram influencers to get sales and then I always update the, um, I'm updating the, the academy with case studies um, all the time, all right? So when I close it on Friday, again, this won't be open um, until next year. So um, think about that if you really are serious about creating a print-on-demand business, all right? So the three stages, the basic, um, the, the core training of it, is you know finding niches designs and hiring a designer stage two is all about creating your product pages and then stage three which you'll probably spend most of your time in is the testing strategy uh, getting sales and scaling your winners all right and then I'm gonna be updating a lot of the case studies throughout the end of the year which is another reason why I'm actually closing it is because I need to get um, a lot more case studies in there um, for the rest of the year and I'm gonna be focusing on that all right so if you have any questions, again, you can go through this page, but you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you and we'll hopefully see you inside the private mastermind group um, in the academy. All right, we'll see you later.